Hey everybody, Danny Maud here, head professional at the Canterbury Golf Club in Kent. Have you ever found that you can hit your irons pretty good, but maybe you kind of struggle with your driver? Or, or, you're, or maybe you're a good driver of the golf ball, but when it comes to hitting your irons, you struggle to strike them as pure as you'd like? Well, this was the situation for two of my clients this week. One of them came to me and he could strike his irons lovely off the ground. But when he came through his woods, he just wasn't getting any power whatsoever. And then later on in the week, one of my, uh, another client came to me and he was a wonderful driver of the golf ball, but when it came to hitting his irons, he was fatting them, thinning them, he just wasn't getting that pure strike whatsoever. And the reason being is there's a difference between the way you strike an iron versus a wood, and there's a difference between the way you set up to them. And this week, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how you set up differently to your woods versus your irons, and give you some in-swing things. What should you be focusing on during the swing that can improve both? So, what do you do with a driver versus an iron? So, with a driver, well, first thing says, it should be easier. Look, the ball is teed up in the air. So all we've got to do is make sure that we hit that ball up off the tee and get it up in the air so we can get that lovely carry. So that's really what we're doing. With a driver, we don't, the no, with a driver there's 10 and a half degrees of loft. So there's very little loft on a driver. So that what we have to do is make sure that when we swing, we, can, we swing in a way that hits up and gets that ball up in the air. We don't have to worry about it going too high because there's not enough loft on there. So in our bodies and the way we set up, we need to get that upward strike. So let's look at what we have to do first of all in the setup. In the setup, we position the ball inside our left heel and we get the handle of the golf club just behind the ball and we get our head just behind the handle. And you'll notice when we do this, there becomes a slight tilt. The right shoulder is a little bit lower than the left and the stance is quite wide. I like to have a slightly wider stance because one, it's a more ballistic shot, much more, uh, much more aggression, but it also helps to, in a sense, if we have a narrow stance here, the right shoulder becomes too high, we widen it up and we get, we get to sit more behind that golf ball. Now you can see here, what, well, from this position, with my body behind the golf ball here, the low point of the arc ends up behind the ball and that once we get to about here, we can now strike up on the shot. So we want to really be behind that golf ball through the impact area. We don't want to be over the golf ball, which is slightly different with an iron. So that's the first thing. We change the setup. We lean back here, ball forward, and away we go. Simple as that with driver. With an iron, it's slightly different. With an iron, what we're going to do is we want a descending blow into the golf ball. Now, for those of you who are struggling with irons, this can be counterintuitive. You might find that, hang on, I'm struggling to get the ball up in the air. Why would I want to hit down on the golf ball? Well, <laughs> golf is counterintuitive. In order to get the ball up, we hit down. We need the loft of the golf ball striking that golf ball. We want the ball rolling up the face so it produces the backspin and gets the ball up in the air. I know that can be confusing, particularly if you've been struggling to strike your irons. People do strike their irons poorly, generally are often trying to get underneath the golf ball and try and help it, but we don't. We want to strike down. So what do we do in the setup to strike down or help you to strike down? The first thing we do is this. Difference in the ball position. We said with the driver it's off our left heel. With an iron now we start to move much more towards the center of the stands here. And the reason being is, is this would be where drive would be. So we're catching the ball. If it was a pendulum here, if you imagine a pendulum with a driver, we're catching the ball now. Watch this. Slightly on the way up. So there's a slight lean with a handle behind. With an iron, we want to catch the ball on the downward bit of this pendulum. So suddenly the handle is ahead. So by doing that, watch this, by moving the uh, ball position, watch this. We've now moved the handle ahead just by moving the ball position back, encouraging a downward strike or catching it on the way down. So the hands, little reference point, hands inside left thigh, ball fairly central in your stance. You'll notice here as well, I'm not fairly narrow a stance, I'm not sitting back. My sternum now is directly over the golf ball because again, I don't want to be back here and hitting up on the ball. I want to be catching the ball at the bottom of my arc here. 
so we get that downward strike. So look here, there's a different setup. So ball now is central, hands are ahead, sternum is directly over the top of that golf ball. My shoulders aren't level, but they're more level with, than driver. You saw with driver, I was more like here, with an iron, I'm more like here. Don't get this right at the start, you're gonna find it really difficult in the next phase, which is the swing. Okay, so now you've set up correctly to a nine. Pretty, pretty straightforward. The next thing is, is you need to remember just kind of train the way you strike an iron versus a wood. So we want to encourage a downward strike. And one of the best drills for this is simply just get an old towel, stick it along the ground behind the back of the golf ball. Now for those of you who aren't striking your irons very well, what you might find is that you sit back here, your sternum starts to fall backwards and you start to strike the towel. We don't want to do that, right? Because that's going to lead to poor strikes. What we want to do is encourage a downward strike. So all we're going to do now is make sure when we're uh, swinging, we're going to swing and we're going to avoid this towel as we come down. So we're going to stand to try and strike the ball, then the ground by simply avoiding the towel. Very, very straightforward drill and it will give you immediate feedback. So let's have a go at this. So all I'm going to do now, make a simple golf swing just avoiding this towel. And as you can see here, when you look at there, the ball's in front, front of the towel, my divot is actually after the golf ball, nowhere near the towel, and I struck a perfect strike. And it gives, it'll give me instant feedback. You might find when you try this drill to start off with, you start striking the towel. Not a problem. It's a way of uh, feeding back to you as to exactly what you're doing. So just take your time, work on some small swings with this, work on striking that ball, then the ground, and in time, you'll start to improve the quality of the strikes with your irons. Now, for those of you who struggle to with the woods, let's see what we can do. So, for those of you who are hitting your irons pretty good but struggle with your woods, the chances are you've got a descending blow into the woods and we, we do not want that. So I've got a really simple drill that you can work on to try and encourage this upward strike into the shot. So one of the things, as you said, you must have the setup right. Use a mirror to do this, by the way. When you're setting up here, we said, look, we need to be, sit behind the golf ball. There's one thing I found when I'm coaching people, even when we've gone through these little exercises, they never go as far as they should do because it kind of feels weird. So what I would do, start at home, get in front of a mirror, start to practice this because if you can get yourself into mirroring this position here, you might feel like you're like this to start off with, absolutely fine. But it's really important because there's a difference between feel and real. This is the reality, it could be perfect, but the feeling might be like, is like this. So important before you uh, head to a driving range or, or head to a golf course is that you do this in front of a mirror first. So with that out of the way, let me go through this exercise. So we need to encourage a down, uh, an upward uh, strike through the ball. So with the ball position is inside left heel, We've positioned our body behind, and all I've done here look, is I put a T peg at full height, full height driver T peg, about six to eight inches in front of the golf ball. And now, if you are a downward striker, you're going to strike down, and you're actually going to end up striking that T peg out of the ground. We don't want to do that, right? So, what we want to do is we want to strike this golf ball and we want to go above the T peg. Simple as that. So, I'm going to make a swing now, and I'm going to do it in a way that I'm going to do a small swing because I think that's one of the best ways to work on this. I find when I'm coaching people, when they're doing big long swings to start off with, it's difficult to learn this feel. So I'm going to give you a small swing. I'm going to just do a small swing and exactly how I want you to work on it because you need to train this upward motion. So nice and small and I'm going to avoid hitting that T-peg after the shot. Beautiful. Miss a T-peg. Swept that ball up in the air, small swing. Gives me the chance of kind of feeling that motion. So look at what we're doing, the difference between irons and woods. Really simply is this. Hitting irons, we need to hit down. Hitting up, uh, hitting driver, we need to hit up. Therefore, we need a difference in the way we set up. With a driver, we need to sit in a way that encourages an upward strike. We need to sit 
behind the golf ball. Not sitting like this, sitting like this. So everything is a little bit behind, right? With an iron, we need to get everything more over the golf ball. So now the sternum's of the golf ball. Why? Because we want to hit down on the golf ball. We're giving you two drills. One drill is just a towel behind the golf ball. Miss, uh, put it an inch, just an inch behind, and try and strike the ball without hitting the towel. It will encourage a downward strike. And with your driver, put a full length tee peg about six to eight inches in front of uh, the golf ball and start making swings trying to avoid it. So you're encouraging this upward strike. It won't work uh, necessarily to, uh, to start off with, so start with some small swings. I find a lot of my clients are very quick to want to give these big, sm uh, massive swings, and it's too difficult to learn uh, your golf swing when you're at full speed and at full swing. So you really give yourself a break and make this as easy as possible so you can feel the difference between this strike and this strike. So I hope this was really helpful for you. If you really enjoyed it and you think someone else might like it, please share it. And if you're enjoying the content and you'd like to see this in your inbox every week, press the subscribe button and the bell. And if you've got any questions, contact me on my Instagram channel, Twitter, Facebook, ask any questions. And if you're on YouTube, leave a comment in the comments box below. And until next week, have a great golfing week.